All right, continuing on to the next video, um, we were going to say that we're going to put in a, a ship flying in to this, this, this place. So um, we want to kind of get an idea for scale, essentially. So following this uh, one point perspective, um, I'm going to say that, uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, I like the idea of maybe that it's splitting this this beam to so kind of show that this beam is in front of it a little bit. And to start, I really am just going to use um, the the blocks that are already there. Okay, um, and you can see that uh, we're just kind of looking at the top of this. There's just a little bit you know, across the top. Um, from there, we can start to, you know, add and embellish uh, little bits here and there, uh, sort of refine it, you know, make it more of a shuttle looking, that kind of thing, um, the rounding edges off, so on and so forth, right? Um, and then you can go through and erase some of that stuff out, okay? But uh, maybe we have, you know, a, a cockpit in here. You can kind of see you know, approximately how big people are. And so uh, that's going to give us an idea that um, a person standing off to the side is only going to be about this big in our room, okay? So if we draw him again off in the distance uh, or coming closer to us, if we pull our ruler out and we find the top of his head, uh, which is right there, we draw that over, we can see that another guy standing over here is going to be just a little bit bigger. Right, taking up a little bit more space. Uh, at this point, we can start to add in and embellish uh, some some details. Um, put in some ventilation shafts, you know, because it's it's a it's a space themed kind of thing, and it seems like everything in space has got to have ventilation shafts. Uh, not really quite sure, you know, there's why there's always so many ventilation shafts in, in these stories, but there always are. Um, so we're just going to send that straight up. And maybe if we want to show a little bit of thickness, uh, we can just sort of walk this off like so. All right. So again, we have something going on up there. Maybe we, you know, put a platform around it, which I'm just freehanding now, but um, you know, want to put some details, that kind of thing in later, okay? Now we have this structure starting to form and you can embellish and add any kind of details that you want at this point, um, but it's important to just keep everything in, in perspective. So um, let's say that I wanted to have this angled down like this. I'm going to continue to follow that two-point perspective and bring that this way. You can see it kind of wraps around. Making that a little bit bigger. Maybe it drops below a shelf down here because maybe uh, this is a raised platform up here looking off into the distance. right? So maybe uh, there's someone much, much bigger um, Kind of looking out in perspective, like so. Um, okay. And he's looking out through through the glass or something. All right. So he's look 
And so you can just keep adding and adding more details. But one of the things, you know, like I said, you want to keep in mind is uh, this goes to here uh, and this goes to here. So that means that um, if I look down here, I can see that that's going to continue down that way. Right? Just keep everything consistent and use your perspective grids and hopefully you'll be able to have a lot of fun with it. Um, the more that you can show a depth to things, uh, like say this right here, the more believability your drawing and illustration is going to have. Okay. Now a lot of times, like I said, on a piece of paper, I'll lay all this stuff out uh, with a ruler, make sure it's all precise, and then uh, I'll put another piece of paper over the top of it, in which case, uh, in this case, I'm just going to use you know, uh, uh, a new layer, but then I have a new place to start going in and uh, drawing in some details. Uh, and, and keeping everything clean uh, so that I don't have to worry about um, all those perspective lines getting in the way okay um, but it's very very important to to lay out that perspective grid first okay um, and then you can go in and, and start refining details okay uh, all right well that's pretty much it for now um, I'm going to show you one other thing on the next video which is again staircases and, and doing those often to uh, the distance with two-point perspective so uh, hopefully that will be helpful. I also want to show again um, some ellipses and how to do that in perspective. Um, so let's continue that on with the next video.